What is up everybody, my name is Verdict and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a very special episode, an episode which I really wanted to deliver not on one or two occasions, but we finally managed to align. I had this conceptualized probably, I don't know, half a year ago, how me, Travesty, and Damio sit and talk about Mystic. Not just that, but this was a very hard episode to pull off because, well, we are literally worldwide. Travesty is in NA, I'm in Europe, and Damio is all the way in Australia. So it was hell to get this aligned. And today, by sheer luck of the draw, it actually occurred and i want you to do me a favor please do hit the like and subscribe please watch the entire episode but not just that especially go ahead and support travesty and go ahead and support damio as well their links are down below and without further ado ladies and gents let's begin into it i'm sure let's not get ahead of time so overall let's just uh let's just really get to the talk of this um mystic changes very big things um it really depends on to the perspective but let's just get an overall feel before we get into these uh changes one by one we're going to explore all of the abilities step by step we're going to talk about is it good is it bad where would that impact both pv and pvp of course understanding that kind of generally at least in my opinion these changes are pretty much pvp focused with full intent on pvp and Overall, let me just get you guys' take, starting with Damio. What do you overall think about these changes? If you were to put them, you know, just label them. Good, bad, meh, just tell me your take on these. Individually or as a, as a patch as a whole? Uh, as a whole, just your overall take on that. I, I think they are basically half-assed. Um and like some are good but some are just like so wild that, that it doesn't make any sense and then very poorly implemented mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what about you trav how do you feel about that i think for a pvp balance what it's trying to do is give mystic awaken mystic specifically more sa trade or more protected trade options but what it doesn't do is elevate what mystic was good at before which was cc control and balance uh, balancing everybody out and positioning wise so i think overall uh, as of right now i think it's like an overall nerf to what mystic used to do yep uh to be fair i'm kind of landing with both of you guys for me personally awakening mystic used to be that you know support functioning tank which was always there as you said that um, that CC bot that, you know, how you're playing RBF and you see an Awakening Mystic dropping there and you're like, oh, this is going to take a while. You know, it just nobody moves types of a situation. You know, Mystic was, in at least in my opinion, that tank that brawls in the middle of everybody, very annoying, hard to deal with. And you know that that was almost in a sense her support qualities, you know, double vacuum, double slow. You know, we, we know what happened with that. But overall... To be fair with me, uh, to, uh, to be fair with you guys, my take is that pretty much same as Damio. It, it, it's not like what is it? I, I couldn't really figure out what it was. What are these takes? What are these changes? What is Pearl Abyss's idea? It, it gave me an impression that like that's not Mystic. Those aren't Mystic changes. They, they, they're trying to focus on something that is not core to the either play style, both PB, both PvP, and it's obviously pvp heavy but it takes away from what mystic was in terms of that party thing giving it more selfish play style and personally that didn't land well with me but that's just an opinion so let's go first and foremost with uh, the first ability change and that was wave warp when the attack hits successfully the bound effect has been changed to apply only to monsters with the core it applies only into pvp and of course it got a full forward guard up until the last hit um effect you know just totally goes through and uh, the slows are changed now personally from my end to be fair with you that's pretty much a pvp change which doesn't impact me as much as you guys so trav how do you feel about wave orb has no slows but still being protected like it's probably polarizing in terms of that so i, I think this change didn't come from nowhere i think there's been multiple cases where people post about you know, adding protection to wave war, removing the CC. 
but um, Wave Orb got both the CC and um, the slow removed. Uh, I think I when I've talked about balancing Wave Orb, I said make it protected and then remove the CC, just like they did with the Suck Mystic Wave Orb. They didn't even add Suck Mystic's Wave Orb in patch notes, but they just added protection to it. That's something that I was looking to towards as like a good balance for Wave Orb, but they took away both, so... Now Wave Orb is kind of just a, a throwaway damage skill. That's Frontal Guard, so it's still not a fully protected skill. Um, and if you use, you have to use it out of uh, skills anyway to animate to cancel it. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think it's a balance change. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but it isn't something that came out of nowhere. I just think the removal of slows and CC make it so that the skill change in PvP is, um, I would say, worse off than it used to be. Yep. Can't catch any rats, any rats anymore with the bound on it. Definitely. Which would have been fine. If they Definitely. Had the, the sell of well, Wave Orb was really the, the slows. Like, that was the bread and butter of the ability. If you got down and that Wave Orb got on you, you're going to have a hard time furthering down the line, you know, just going through and through with that duel or whatever it was. That was pretty much the selling point of Wave Orb. Uh, Damien, what's your take on that? Uh, yeah, so it's it's been something that people have asked for for a while, because, um, like, generally Awakening Mystic's kit just has too much CC in it, and it's kind of difficult to uh, combo on some things because you've got a very limited number of skills that don't, like, CC cap the person immediately after you like catch them with a grab or a knockdown or whatever. Um, so trading away some uh, CCs, like some of the less optimal CCs, like the bounds uh, for frontals and like SAs and stuff, which is is something that's really nice to have. Uh, so front guard on the wave orb, or ideally SA, but front guard is still like better than nothing. Um, I think that's a good change. The because, like, you use it with uh, Earth Splitter a lot. Yeah. And it just it felt like the, the two skills were just the same thing. They were just two unprotected bounds, mm -hmm. and you use them together, and it's like it just feels redundant. Um, but now having them, like, one is an unprotected CC, and then another is a protected damage skill, it feels a lot nicer. Uh, but, yeah, having the slow removed kind of feels like an, like an overkill trade-off. Uh, but it kind of makes more sense when we get to the next uh, next uh, change they did. <laughs> Definitely. But it, it seems like even in combination with it, it's like why why do you need to take that away as well? Like it's it's like it's so redundant that it doesn't need to be removed. Um, so that, yeah, it seems like a little bit of an extra thing. But I think overall, this change in isolation. Um. Well, yeah, yeah losing the slow is a bit weird. But it, so maybe not with isolation, but uh, yeah. just the front guard change, I think, is overall a good thing. Yeah, definitely. To be fair with you, training the CC for forward guard, perfectly fine. In my book, yeah, you shouldn't even worry about that at all because it's bound after all. But to be fair with you, as you say, the redundancy of it, considering the fact that Dragon Spit, which is the next ability which we're going to talk about, it got SA, the slows are still there, and cooldown reduced from 20 to 12, which is really good. So you kind of get an idea of, well, perhaps what Pearl Abyss tried to do with the Wave Orb stuff. Well, yes, it was super strong. When Mystic got on you, as we spoke about, very hard to get her off of you. Very impactful in terms of your gameplay, CC slows, etc. All of those things. But Dragon Spit Change was something that I got very excited for. Now, personally, um, you know, I've requested this and I spoke about this some time ago. That, you know, Mystic has an overflow of shards. And my general perfect world, world scenario would be to empower Dragon Spit to do something with shards. Because we really do have an overflow. And when I saw the Dragon Spit changes, all of this, in my book, what it missed was that in particular. But that's just my take, you know. And Dragon Spit right now is actually based. It's a super strong ability. So have you guys managed to use it somehow, you know, to your advantage nowadays? Because to be fair, it's what kind of a better version of Wave Orb if you use it smart. What's your take about this, Damien? Uh, well, I've been doing a lot of AOS um, with this patch, and I've noticed like i can use it 
preemptively a lot more and I don't feel like I've wasted it when I do it that way. Like sometimes like when you walk up to each other on the other team and you're like, oh, are they going to go? You want to get the wave of the pit down as they're coming in. Um, and sometimes you might just get like a range CC on you as you do it. And then suddenly you're on the floor and you've like already lost the initial fight because you're just instantly CC. Yeah. So having that be an essay is really nice. Um, and also having it on a s smaller cooldown, the fact that you can use it off hotkey in either um, stance, like either weapon out mm. is nice. Like overall, it's, it's really good. Um, and it just feels nice to be able to safely place it down in the middle of a fight and not have to worry about instantly cancelling it with another skill um, or like iframing it to the side or whatever. And then yeah. also with the combination of uh, them nerfing the duration of slows, having a lingering slow is kind of a bit of a buff because they're staying in the yeah. AoE and they keep getting it reapplied. Um, so overall, I think that's a good change. Uh, like you said, it would be nice if there was a what like either make it a shard mechanic or just straight up buff the damage on it because this skill has been neglected for damage since release. It's never been touched. Like exactly. On, in the first first when it first came out, it was like actually a good skill in PVE and stuff. You just put it down on a pack and it would kill the pack on its own. But now it just it's just a slow. That's all it is. Indeed. I don't recall them ever even touching that damage. It's just that it fell off. You know, it on its hmm. base, it's not bad, but it just simply fell off with time. Trav, what's your take on Dragon Spit, man? I think it's uh, a buff for PvP, for sure. Um, it's a skill that I rarely use before it had protection. Often because in this game, the amount of range CC um, is insane especially in an AOS setting. So using it usually was asking to get CC'd un unnecessarily or taking a risk for pretty much zero reward. Exactly, yeah. Now you can use it to peel somebody who's on the ground. Um, it's not like that great appeal because slows were nerfed overall, but it's still a 20% a, uh, peel. So it's pretty good. Um, I'll just have to get used to it because it's hot bar only. I'm glad they changed it recently. So that you can cast it from pre-awakening, because before yes. you couldn't cast it from pre-awakening, you had to be in awakening. Um, yeah, so I think the change is good. It doesn't have damage, so it is purely a slow. If you look at Suck Mystic Wave Orb, which has damage and slow, you look at Suck Zerk Devastation has damage and slow. Um, that would have been our Wave Orb, but unfortunately, um, I think since Mystic Awakened Mystic had two options for slows they decided to split it out and i think for balancing purposes that's better but i just wish other classes would have that same kind of balancing where they have a slow but it does zero damage yeah i feel you also why don't we have add-ons on dragon spit can somebody riddle me this one <laughs> what's going on with that could you imagine us mm. actually getting those because to be fair with you dragon spit right now is more impactful than it's ever been Right, it doesn't deal damage, but the fact that it's protected, as Travis said, you could just simply peel for somebody that is on the ground, cast it, and it's, even though, you know, it's not that impactful compared to what it used to be, but it's still impactful, and now you're safe, because one thing where I was doing AOS on Awakening Mystic, trying to learn that a little bit onto kind of the, the lower scale side of things, I noticed that Dragon Spit should not be a thing that you use preemptively, it literally saves fights. So even though you put Dragon Spit and most likely you'll get CC'd, you probably will survive because of the slow simply being there. Now, overall, personally, Dragon Spit change is a, is a W. It's, it's absolutely based. But really, in my opinion, the bread and butter of this entire Awakening Mystic Global Lab stuff is with Dragon Strike and Raging Wind. It, it's just crazy what they did with those abilities. Just, just to summarize, Awakening Mystic getting a 5% down attack uh, increase, no longer uses stamina, we just use our resource, the um, AoE has been changed, down smash removed, just guys, go ahead, Trav, you first, tell me how do you feel about Dragon Strike, and we're gonna get Raging Wind into this, because they locked them, that's it, you, you can no longer use them separately unless you uh, hotkey Raging Wind, which is probably what people will do counter to what Pearl Abyss's intention is. But tell me what you feel about this, man. It's crazy, this change, in my opinion. I think for PvE, it's a, a nice change because Dragon Strike into Raging Wind 
is is what I use in PvE quite a bit, and so it adds a little bit more protection to it. I think for PvP, especially in a 3v3 scenario, most of the high-level Wicked Mystics are locking it because Dragon Strike is coming out of certain skills, taking priority over other skills. So what I mean by that is I'm doing mass destruction and I want to go into uh, Gushing Water after it's or it's prioritizing Dragon Strike. Mm-hmm. And so most most mystics are actually locking Dragon Strike and Raging Wind since they um doing doing Raging Wind from Hot Bar, you have to go through the full animation and then Dragon Strike is unprotected mm. and is coming out of skills um that it didn't used to come out before cuz I had Dragon Strike unlocked for a while in uh AOS for the down smash. Yeah. And it didn't come out of skills that I didn't want to come out of, but now it's coming out of skills um but do you mean do you mean that you are even locking it right now considering the buffs and changes or were you talking in the past i'm I'm talking now i i didn't have it locked before most 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 mystics are locking it now Hmm. so i think the change is good for pve the down attack is pretty big but i think in for pvp it's like a a necessary uh, risk that most awakened mystics are not willing to take, especially since it's coming out of skills and taking mm-hmm. priority over other skills. I'm still playing around with it, but like in a three v three setting, I don't think it's going to be. Um, it's going to the benefits is going to outweigh the negatives. But I think in a one v one situation where you really only have to mat- care about one person, um, you can probably make up some pretty cool combos with it. But 1v1 is, is very limited nowadays. But yeah, I think in a 1v1 situation, I would have it unlocked. And I would actually use it and, and in the beginning of a combo, see see if I can get any more damage out. Especially with spec attack evasion removed. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's an interesting take because usually what I would expect is, yes, it's kind of silly way to lock Raging Wind to Dragon Strike, which is kind of stupid. Let's be honest. Locking these abilities. You know, we used to use... Um, Raging Wind and Dragon Strike separately, especially in PvE for faster links in between, you know, Wave Orb or other abilities, you get it. We, we would we would just use these dependent on just going fast, right? Just the fast linking. And now that's gone. So that takes a little bit of impact. But Damio, do you lock Dragon Strike and Raging Wind? What's your take on both of these? Because they're big, man. It's it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I've, I lock them both. I, I wow. think they're awful skills. <laughs> wow. um, so... When I first saw this this change, I was originally excited for it because like it, it looks good on paper. The the dragon strike changing is losing down smash. It's like eh, it's kind of what it was used for, but they're like repurposing the skill and giving it the down attack uh, buff. So it kind of makes sense that you want to use it earlier. So um, if you're using it early, you don't really want the down smash on it because it might mess up the rest of your combo. Um, so that part sounded good. And then uh, changing Raging Wind to uh, be a down attack skill, which is is nice because it was it didn't really make much sense that it didn't have down attack. It on was it. it was useless as an ability. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. It it was it's, bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I really uh, I'll, I'll I'll start with this. I feel like Raging Wind should just be made a flow to Dragon Strike, kind of what they've done it now, and they should just replace Raging Wind with something else and just make a completely new skill because it feels like such a wasted skill that was given to mystics when they did the reworks and stuff like striker got all these cool stuff and then we just get this little fucking water balloon (laughs) Um, and i think like i kind of liked that it was ranged but it was so awkward to use it as a ranged skill and if you wanted to make it did nothing for value yeah and if you wanted to make a dragon strike range you had to use the uh raging wind off hot bar first and do the whole wind up and stuff and it's like why not just make them both a range skill like make it dragon strike mm. range and then make a second flow to it being what raging wind basically is and then make a new skill to replace it and i was kind of hoping they were going to do something like that but then they kind of went backwards made them both a melee skill and it's like well why would you even give us a range skill if you're just going to take it back to melee anyway like what what hole were you feeling by giving us a random range skill if you're just going to just take it away for no reason? Like, it doesn't even need to be taken away here. Like, it can still do the same thing as a range skill, just it collides in melee. Anyway, that was, like, the other thing. 
Um, so in regards to like the protections and stuff, uh, it seemed a little weird. Like it, it kind of makes sense to be like, okay, you got dragon strike. So if you're using it in a combo, it's probably not the worst thing if you're unprotected for a little bit, because you're going to go into this frontal with the raging wind, which I kind of mm. like, I kind of like the idea of having frontal skills, especially in awakening. Um, and then you can also use it to go into wave orb, which is no longer a CC anymore. And is also another frontal skill. So mm. it could it made new combo routes where you could do like Rising Dragon, Dragon Strike, Raging Wind, Wave Orb, and you just did a bunch of awakening damage that it didn't CC and it didn't down smash. So you didn't have to worry about it ruining anything. And then you could mm. go into like torpedo gushing and then throw all your SA damage at the end and down smashes. So I kind of like the idea of that. But then when it came to actually trying it out, the execution the, wasn't good, yeah. Yeah, it's it's slow. It's so slow, it doesn't feel useful to do the fact that you can't use raging wind separately at all unless you hot gear like you said however it still has the same long animation so it makes it pointless to use and then you can't uh hot key dragon strike so if you have the same like what me and travis are trying to avoid the mm -hmm. problem is it's like if you see burial into a fight and you're holding down forward rmb if you get hit it can hit start of your c barrier and it may go into like, like the R and B input earlier early before you hit the floor and you mid air yes. you a, a drag dragon strike, strike. and then that also has a mass mass destruction where you, you just hold the point inside R and B and if you get, get attacked at the wrong point, point in the, the action, animation it will instead of like making you linger it it will make you do a um, a mass destruction it breaks chains so, essentially it breaks the season. yeah and, and it just causes yeah. all these issues by having it on this input so you would like to hotkey it so you could still use it but not have it interrupt um these other skills fair um and i was like oh if they had it made it protected then it's not so bad if you accidentally go into it or if you just are able to lock it and then use raging wind and then you at least you're breaking into a front guard skill but then you've got you can't use dragon strike from hotkey it's like all these things it just doesn't none of it works in practice it's yeah. slow it's it's not worth the risk like I, I did some aos and i tried to use it again um and i also tried to use dragon strike again after they did the hit rate changes when it was meant to supposedly reduce the stutter which it did but it still happens uh, right. so it still just didn't feel worth it perhaps like a, and, like a lead just dragon strike for the buff and then just keep on doing try it at the very start at least to get something out of it maybe you know but I, yeah, yeah, I see what you it. guys mean with the, with the chain ability and also the the uh, removal of the linger. Now, just to, just so we move past both two, because we can go on tangents talking about this for a uh, long yeah. period of time. It's a lot on this. Yeah. It, it's a lot. It, I, I definitely agree with you guys on your takes. Now, I know Trav is a day one Mystic ever since release, pretty much almost. Now, Damio, I don't know particular for you. How long have you been playing Mystic? I think Damo's the day one oh day i the didn't start playing the game until 2019 like oh June, okay so. so it's actually reversed my bad my bad yeah 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 so i'm close to day one so i'm like i think it was two months after release travesty do you know what dragon shatter is yeah you know what Dra yeah. okay so i'm uh, for me personally i want dragon strike completely gone from the game raging wind completely gone for the game and i want Dragon Shatter with a flow, similar to what Damio said. So, it is, ever since Dragon Shatter got guttered, it, in my eyes, that's like the apogeus of Mystic. Ever since Dragon Shatter got removed, she's straight up down, <laughs> down the alley. So, it would be so cool to see Pearl Abyss actually go back on what's obviously, obviously something that's not functioning that well, both for PvE, both for PvP, and just bring back a forward guard similar to Thunder Pound ability for Awakening. In my opinion, it's good. Yes, it was broken for many purposes, different things, but you know, you can balance, you can have a very good approach on it. Now, just so we move into the next thing, and I'm going to lead on Infinite Fortitude because it's one of my grievances with this update. Because I used Infinite Fortitude in, in a way which probably nobody else not necessarily uses it. And I use it kind of um, in, in a very gimmicky way, but Infinite Fortitude has been changed. It no longer uh, has the grapple resistance. It now has 
a 30 to 40 second range it restores hp and the pulling enemies has been removed and we have a pushback which i have not seen work yet but probably it will work if they hit you without protection i'm, I'm just not that good on it and of course there is no longer a was it, it was 60 percent damage reduction before right not 50 it was 60 yeah, I think it was 60, right? It was 60, yeah. 60, it's... As it, a buff. Yeah, it was 60 for 5 seconds, and once it concludes and the explosion hits, you get to keep that for another 5 seconds. I am so upset with this change. Literally, I hate the Infinite Fortitude change because of what it allowed Mystic to do. And I'm gonna kind of go on a very short tangent, going back into what I said about Mystic being a support. The bread and butter of Mystic was the combination of the Infinite Fortitude, especially in Node Wars. I'm talking specifically in Node Wars, and not necessarily just that. You could probably use this in AOS, in 1v1s, etc. It had many uses. It was the lingering damage reduction of Infinite Fortitude, and the fact that you could cast your 100% and actually survive the entire cast of it. That was my most favorite thing to do with Mystic, and now that's gone. So right now, what I do with my Mystic in Node Wars, I go on pin... I try to slow throw everything that I can, try to get as low as HP as I possibly can, cast my infinite fortitude and stay there for the duration up until <laughs> I can afterwards go, you know, with Wolf Frenzy, do some eye framing and stuff, try to live, do as much scales as I can. But overall, I detest the new infinite fortitude. It's not for me personally. So Trav, what do you think of infinite fortitude? The changes. I think it's uh, overall nerfed to this skill. Um, especially considering that for a little while we had it um, able to give us a damage reduction after the skill was completed. And so that meant you can actually beta grab with it. So you can do it in front of an enemy. They grab you. You still have it for three to four seconds after mm -hmm. they put you down on the floor. Nowadays, um, if you get grabbed out of it, um, you get no damage reduction. And you're just basically, it's way worse than it used to be. And I think the healing was something that we were asking for on it back um, for a balancing thing because we have Draconia has the I remember PA that yeah yeah she can heal um, but the healing is is so too small like a thousand five hundred nowadays is I think they reworked healing in general but yeah the healing is not the it's not great given given the forty second cooldown mm -hmm. and the push effect I think both Damo and I have tried it out in AOS. I think the push effect actually is more beneficial to your team than it is to yourself. Purely because you can run in, and if, if you're fighting a melee class and they're trying to dogpile on your your teammate, um, the pushing effect could help. I just wish it was a little bit bigger, because most melee classes and the amount of push that we can give, um, they're still hitting your teammate on the ground. Mm -hmm. They're just hitting him yeah. from like maybe three feet away versus one feet away. So the, the, the push effect is is kind of a, is a really gimmick. And I know Damo, he'll speak on canceling it and having the push effect still there, but I haven't I haven't seen it work for myself, so I'll I'll give go over to Damo. Just before we go yeah. with Damien, in my opinion, just just to, just to comment a little bit onto the HP return. You know, 80% damage reduction is huge. I think what that HP return was supposed to be is while you are in the effect for your health to pretty much not budge. Basically to stay where it's at because you are going to... You know how they did a special attack convergence based on the health restore? How much damage would that be in health? The same thing I pretty much think they did with uh with infinite fortitude you staying on your health by regenerating a little bit throughout the duration so your health doesn't you know rapidly regenerate like draconius you know get to full and then keep on killing people i think that was the take but let's go to damien and see what you got to say about this man yeah so <sighs> yeah, there's, a, there's a lot to say <laughs> so it's like the main thing like before like if we go way back before the uh, skill had the secondary lingering PA effect yes. when you popped it. Yes. It was like it was pretty much useless skill. It, it was only good if you could like maybe cheese some things where if someone was going to grab you, you would go into it, and then they would grab you, but you have the PA buff still, so you just don't take damage. Mm -hmm. That was like really it. Or if you just do, there was a lot of damage coming, or like you just wanted to wait out some cooldowns for a little bit, stuff like that. It was next to useless. You just you spent all this time doing stuff, letting everyone stack slows on you and all this sort of stuff, and you just didn't accomplish anything. So having the lingering PA effect, and then you could also pop the PA early, gives you five seconds where you can still take advantage of the PA and actually do stuff during it. Mm -hmm. And that gave her a lot of like 
if you're backed against a wall and you have to fight your way out of something, it gave her a lot of power to have five seconds to make something happen where she can tra out trade people. And then when they gave us healing on the shard skills, it gave her more ability to fight your way out of a corner because you could actually out heal the damage that you're taking, which yep. is kind of like yep. the point of what it is now is that it's got the healing on the, the PA so you can out heal the damage that you're taking while you're doing it. But like, so 80%, it sounds like a lot, but previously it used to be 90% because the 30, if, if you have like 401 DP and you got 30% damage reduction, yeah. um, and then you add ni uh, 60, you get 90, but now it's just, it's not a buff anymore. So it's just an 30, uh, sorry, an 80% damage reduction while you're in it. It doesn't stack the same way. So you, you take more damage now than you did previously. And then. Oh, also, they mean, it doesn't, made a. It doesn't do anything. It it's it just a uh, it's just an eighty without uh, your dr working on it. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Either way, it's you're definitely not. You're definitely still taking damage. So I know that yeah. much. So it's definitely not uh thirty plus eighty being over a hundred and that you're immortal. Um, you're you're still taking damage. Just, so you can't use it if you're in the sorry yeah j just that? to counter you on this because uh i i've noticed being significantly tankier with it compared to the previous one so i am not really sure if that mm. necessarily true but then again the only point of reference i have is in node wars so yeah mm, okay. i could live i i'm literally immortal in the middle of the entire team they can all hit me at the same time i am not dying i'm staying there unless obviously i get grabbed but you get the idea i've been okay. noticing quite tanky but please please continue okay yes yeah, so, so some of that might be for a few reasons so every the hp potion now heals you for was it like 550 now and it doesn't benefit from you being cc mm -hmm. where it used to be like 270 mm -hmm. so basically you get more healing from being just just existing and so it used to be that you would heal less while you're in sa but you'd heal more when you're on the floor when you're taking damage and stuff but now because everyone's healing more just for existing the pa effect is more significant so that I feel like that's probably why you feel really tanky while you're in it because yeah. you're just healing more from your HP potion and that tick damage is getting outweighed by that healing. Yep. yep. Um, AOS, cause I've only really done AOS with these changes. So it's like my view on it's a bit skewed cause healing is reduced, but it's just not enough to counteract the damage you're taking mm -hmm. and you, you're going to go down. Uh, and then you also risk getting grabbed and all those other things. And if, yeah, you're just basically a free grab. Yeah. Uh, the pushback effect is only, well, from what I can tell, is only on the charging animation and not during the explosion. So you've only got three ticks of that, um, that pushback effect yeah, happening. Yeah, at the start. Yeah. Uh, and then if you finish the whole thing, the people can actually still walk into you. Like, I'm not sure if, um, maybe you can like show the, uh, that video of the demonstration um, when it was in Global Labs of a yeah. Zerka walking into um, you, you can send me the we'll Mystic put it up. and the we'll Zerka can still reach. Yeah. Um, he, yeah, people can just walk up to you. So you 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 don't want to channel the whole thing. Um, and there's no benefit to finishing it either, except for getting a little bit of healing. <laughs> and the problem with that as well is that you could already heal yourself with the skill by using it before you use all your big he healing spenders so you're not really gaining much healing you're accomplishing nothing while you're doing it except doing this pushback and yeah. this pushback doesn't even land on so many people because everyone's zooming around so fast like <laughs> zerkas can still just run at you and grab you with lava piercer like it doesn't yeah. stop them um so like what's the point of it so it's it's not safe to stay in uh, i did find something though which i don't think is intended but is pretty much the only way I've been able to make this thing useful is that if you dash out of it, like early on, I don't know how far you can push these boundaries, but if you dash out of it, it still keeps the, like a, a vacuum effect going on around the area. So you can kind of use it as a second vacuum. And like what I've been doing is I've been using dragons rip to vacuum people. Mm -hmm. And then I go into infinite fortitude and I dash out of it. And then I use that to extend the vacuum. It doesn't seem as reliable because it seems like sometimes they can go certain directions, sometimes they can't. 
Uh, That's but weird. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem intended because it makes no sense that it should do that. It it could um, be a lingering from a, a past. You know what they built you. There's the effect of pulling enemies in. You know from what it used yeah. to be. It could be something. Let's be honest. Pearl Abyss are not doing a good job. Can can we can we open a little bit of a rant here about the bug? What yeah. was it? Wolf Thrasher was it? What what was the what was the ability? Oh my goodness! Raging wolf. Oh, thrashing wolf, thrash, raging wolf, it was raging, raging wolf. wolf that gave the mutant speed to raging yourself. wolf. That yeah, is, yeah. I was gonna get to that. That is, that is pathetic, man. That is pathetic. How do you break an ability so bad? You know, you know what? To be fair, when I saw the self buff, I was like, okay, let me just go and test on the dummy to see if the dummy gets the buffs instead. You know, I was like, yeah. <laughs> what is happening here, man? That's a that's a good check it is, it is crazy it <laughs> and one of the most important things is that you know i'm in a very privileged position to be able to speak directly to pa i got pinged from the mystic discord that this was a thing i go ahead and i tell pearl abyss they tell me we see it we know and they ship it broken yeah that is that is I'm not going to use the R word, but <laughs> you know what I'm, what, yeah, what I'm it, trying to say? Yeah, it is idiotic. It is, <laughs> it is idiotic. So, also, so, it's still not updated in the next global apps. I'll, it I'll confirm isn't? That as well. Friday? It isn't? No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. See, here's the thing. Many mystics probably... Uh, Trav, Trav, do you use that ability often? You probably do. Damien, you probably use this too, right? I use Trav? it all the time. I don't, I don't use it. You don't use Raging it? Wolf. So, I prefer Thrashing Wolf. Yeah. Um, we were talking about, about the problem that's not working. Yeah, the the rebound skill. We we're talking about thrashing wolf. That's not so. Let's continue uh, the conversation. Wolf. Raging thrashing wolf, wolf yeah. is is the one working properly, we, which think, you are right? using, right? You're using thrashing wolf. Yeah, I've been using it for yeah. a while. Yeah. Okay. So so let's continue back. I'll, I'll try to somehow to just <laughs> smack it up together. Let's continue with what you were mm. saying, uh, Travesty, from a little bit further down the line. Yeah. So I think we were talking about raging wolf and how. It, it self debuffs you, so you actually yeah don't get um, you actually get debuffed by your own skill. Uh, Raging Wolf is the Raub limb that you can use for attack casting speed. Um, it's similar to three shard crouching wolf buff. I think yep. some mystics prefer it over the thrashing wolf counterpart um, since they they are unable to keep three shards up. I personally prefer thrashing wolf, but um, I know if a skill is broken. Um, something is being seriously overlooked at uh, PA. Yes, so. absolutely. It's ridiculous. Now, personally, now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I'm actually a suck mystic. I be, I started the channel with suck stuff, and I prefer if I could play suck over awakening. It's it's my choice, but unfortunately, it's so bad. I am so upset because of you know whenever you're farming, especially those end game spots with suck mystic, you don't always have the shards to pre buff for your 20% attack speed. And for me, Raging Wolf was the lifesaver in this situation. I used it all the time. And now <laughs> that it self buffs me and doesn't provide the thing, I am giga pissed. <laughs> but uh, Damien, what's your take on that, man? Like, it's just stupid, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, like, so I use it a lot. I, I like it for the ability to cancel out of it and it puts you into pre-awakening. So mm -hmm. a lot of time if I want to use a skill from pre-awakening quickly, like, uh, I do, uh, what's it called, Raging Wolf, and then Silent Step into Wave Orb as like a way to reposition, put myself into pre-awakening to get the cancel on the Wave Orb and do stuff like that. And it's also just a nice way to keep that 20% uh, attack, uh, 20, yeah, 20% yeah. attack speed up. Um, so yeah, it's nice. And I like being able to cancel it quickly and stuff. And I'm still using it even with the self slow on it. Why? It doesn't um, buff you. Mainly because I, I just for the sake of muscle memory and also the the slow it does it's only five seconds i'm like eh, come it's on okay. man. It doesn't matter. it's still done and it, it also demonstrates how stupid it is that it, i could just click the button like hey check this out it's so dumb that they did control f in their patch in their like their code found something that said attack speed and like oh we're nerfing all these slows let's nerf this oh thing that God. says attack speed and change it to from a twenty percent buff to a ten percent slow. Um, so yeah, it just it just seems like they did it so lazily. Is it an undocumented and, change, or do you think they just passed out? What you wouldn't have this bugged unless oh, they touched no, it. No, it, it's I, I can see how they made the mistake of seeing something that said attack speed 
and then they're like, oh, we're nerfing all these things because well, the it does have a slow yeah. on it. I don't, I don't know if they how much they nerf the slow. It's ten percent. The, the movement speed slow. It used to be ten percent. I think it's still ten. I think the movement speed it's slow is still ten. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you get the attack speed slow, which you would normally get an attack speed. Buff you get ten percent attack speed, speed slow. slow. By the way, a ten percent attack yeah. speed slow, not movement even. So it's like it's reversed. It's so it's so stupid. It's so broken. Well, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like I I feel like they took away the twenty percent attack speed buff thinking it was a slow because there's a movement speed slow so they they see that there's a slow and then they change the wrong value yeah and then so they left yeah. the, tw the 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 they basically it just seems like they mixed up and then they just sent it and then you tell them about it and they're like okay yeah we know about it. I'm like okay cool they're gonna fix it it's a global labs you'd expect them to use this to find bugs and then fix it before they send it to release yeah. but i have yet to see them fix something that has come from global labs and, like, I don't, I don't understand the point of it. And on that, like, why I'm do they send say, it out? And on that, I'm gonna say, Davio, I'm not sure about one week wait times being functioning well, bro. <laughs> to be fair with yeah. you, as much as I like to see content being shipped to us as fast as possible, it's obvious that it's not working. It's obviously like things it, are. It bought. can work. It can, but you know, we they're just not doing it. They're just not doing it. Yeah, not definitely. listening. It, I, I can, I'm not sure if I can say this, but uh, my friend, champion Jason. He's been ranting about Valkyrie like mad ever mm. since these changes. And he's saying, we reported this. Why is it not fixed the next one? I, I love Champion Jason, but he's, he's keeping the Parker chat alive, let me tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. but it's, it's, it's good. Now, let's move finally to Gushing Waters 3%. Now, also, perhaps it's a very good uh, opportunity to not necessarily go that deep into the combos, but, you know, we we use kind of, at least you guys probably, definitely you guys more than me, um, you've probably been meddling with Recoil Slam, and I have a few questions. Um, do you go full down smash rotation from Awakening right now, and then, you know, if it doesn't proc, you go into Recoil Slam after um, Earth Splitter, or also, the, the next question is, does it chain instantaneously into Wave Orb? Do you guys know? Because I haven't done any testing on that. Trev, have you done anything in particular on that? For Recoil Slam? Yeah. I mean, I just use Recoil Slam if I'm in a 1v1 situation where the enemy <laughs> team is not close. Yeah, I'll use Recoil Slam after Earth Splitter because it seems the uh, animation cancel that skill yeah. quite well. I don't use it out of other skills that often. Um, and I don't use it that often, to be honest, because uh, most of the time I'm not in a situation where I can one combo one one v one combo somebody, especially mm -hmm. since I only play uh, AOS nowadays. But yeah, um, the gushing water change, pretty much, I didn't even notice it. Um, yeah, I mean the accuracy changes in the game yeah. has made it so like evasion's pretty much dead, if not on the down low. It's slapping like something for the sakes of slapping something, man. Yeah, and it really doesn't change when I use Gushing Water because three percent, and not many people run Evasion anymore. So, and even if it was a valuable thing, you wouldn't probably change the Thunder Pound add-on if you are still running Thunder Pound add-on for the sakes of this, right? Because it's more effective still to go Thunder Pound. It's more rewarding to go Thunder Pound. At least in my opinion, it is. Uh, Damien, your yeah, take on this? Yeah, you use Gushing Water at the end. Sorry, go, go to, to Down Smash Reset. Yeah. Like, if you're going for Down Smash Reset, your go-to reset would be Gushing Water into uh, Earth Splitter or something, yeah. and then Recoil Slam. Yeah. That's the new three three chance down smash reset you can run through you gotta be quite unlucky to not land them that. to be fair but still it, it is sea barrel first yeah sea oh. barrel gushing it's whatever yes yeah, barrel uh, is, is a down smash both on the ability and the flow yeah i mean or just the flow is it I'm just the flow sure. thank you hold on i think I, so i got my mystic open hold on let me let me let me see i think it was all the abilities hold on let me see awakening uh yes you are right it's just the flow sea burial it has down attack to the main ability yeah yeah. Oh shit, Damio is correct yet again. Who would have thought? Uh, <laughs> but uh, overall, it just let, let's just close this page of this uh, 22nd of July changes. My uh, full pun intended verdict, stupid changes that are deranged without anything mystic in them. This feels like somebody who has no clue 
of Mystic doing Mystic changes when we know what we want and it's not this in particular. And you guys have been very kind on voicing those opinions out. This is my personal take. Trav, what do you, you know, just going back to the first question of is, now that we spoke about it, give the brutal take. What is this? I think it's just uh, half ass changes, as you said. They probably read a couple forum posts and took bits and pieces and put it together to make these changes. But it's definitely not somebody who's familiar with Mystic or the game in general. It's just somebody who's seeing these posts and saying, okay, this is okay to do, this is not okay to do, and then putting it together to, to make a balance patch. Travis, are you saying that Pearl Abyss are not playing their game, bro? Is that is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm saying they're all in Suck Zerks. Oh! Having a great time. <laughs> How will they know a Mystic indeed? <laughs> Uh, Davia, what's your take, bro? Like, once we discuss this, uh, this is the same. Yeah, so well, with the uh, the part with the gushing waters, that that was something that I feel like a lot of people have asked for in the past before they did all the accuracy rate changes. Because, like, it didn't have any accuracy rate on it, which yeah. made it kind of shitty. Yeah. And then it also didn't really do anything, and we didn't have a good way to do an evasion down in Awakening, which a lot of other classes had that in their utility, but we were forced to use Thunder Pound all the time in our combos mm -hmm. to get that 9% evasion down. So it's like, oh, could you put it on Gushing so it kind of gives it a use, and then like, please add some accuracy rate to it or something, because it, it feels so bad when you don't get the opportunity to do your Thunder Pound before a combo, and then you go to use the Gushing and you see a wall of misses because this skill just doesn't hit anything, and you're like, well, could at least do something. So mm -hmm. like, it's like an old request, and then it's... when they did these changes, they made they like increased all of the skill hit rates up and then nerfed Thunder Pound <laughs> down to 3%, which makes it like a shitty debuff, but it also means that you're not reliant on that debuff anymore. So it takes a lot of the value out of Thunder Pounding. And like, if you want to do something for accuracy rate, it's better to just do mass destruction two hits, which exactly. you don't really have to go out of your way for as much. It's and you stupid. get double the value. It's so dumb. then. Yeah, so now they put this on gushing, and it's like, oh, that's good. Like, you just get it, because you didn't really have to think about it, and it's just a very slight buff. So it's still a good change. It just, it's just very minor now. Like, it, you wouldn't really notice a difference if you had it or you didn't have it, but it's good that they put it here. It's just like, yeah. why couldn't you have done that earlier? It's absolutely um, but, a coal after the rain has already poured. It's like, this yeah. is so late compared to where we wanted this, you know? Yeah. And to add, um, to add, just before you continue, because it's, I, th I think it's very important, mm. it's going to fill in a gap. So we know that this is a reoccurring theme with Pearl Abyss giving changes post their initial desire and need. It's like, okay, let's, people want this. We see that they want this. Let's move this down further the line. It has, they, they have those two pipelines. It's like they're both dripping and filling each other's holes in, in the future. And you're going to have that mystic requesting, hey guys, us going into pre-awakening for accuracy is stupid, it's silly, it doesn't deal any damage. It's In fact, we deal more damage by dealing with the misses than going into pre-awakening. I'm talking a little bit on the, on the PvP, uh, PvE, sorry, not necessarily in the PvE, uh, PvP. Yeah. But it's like, is it worth using Nature's Wrath back in the day if you needed accuracy? No, because you had to get back, you had to rework your rotation to get into awakening by, I don't know, using the, the Magnus skill or something like this. And then yeah. it's like nothing was worth on the damage front that the debuffs would then, you know, kind of elevate the rest of the kit. It just simply didn't work. Yeah. And this is right now with Gushing Waters on 3% is the biggest stupid change. And it was like, okay, remember we, we promised this about a year ago? There you go. You get it now. We're good. We're good. We, we delivered. Mm. It's, it's so dumb. Now... <clears throat> Uh, finish your thought, Damio, and let's go into the latest global labs, which you're gonna you're gonna lead us through. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just as like yeah, the overall thing, it looks like they took some things that people have been requesting for for ages. Like I think the gushing waters, the wave orb, uh, front guard. They're like some of the main things that. Oh, and also raging wind being changed because it's bad. I think they're like the main things that they saw. Like okay, we'll grab these and we'll just do something with them that seems like people will be happy with it and chuck it into the game. And that's that's kind of what it feels like. So some of them are good. And Infinite Fortitude was like, oh yeah, we want it to heal us or something because 
all these other things that do it. Um, getting like Drac, for example, had the same, basically the same skill, yeah. except it healed them to like 70% health while ours just didn't do anything. Yeah, with the IOS. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like they did all these things and then they're like, oh, that's, oh, also on Infinite Force, so I didn't get to talk about. Um, the pushback effect, it felt like they were trying to give the class some large scale utility by, because you had like the vacuum, but it, yeah. like everyone has a vacuum. Well, not everyone, but a bunch of classes have it, and it's not really unique to Mystic. But giving a pushback effect as like a reverse vacuum, just like on paper, and like the idea of it sounds kind of cool. Where you could like climb up on top of like a, a mountain or a hill, like where all the castles are, and then just channel this skill, and everyone just gets pushed over the edge, and it clears an area. Like the idea of that just seems cool and like mm -hmm. a nice idea, and that's what I thought it would be like. And then when you actually go to use it in practice, it just, it, it's just nothing. Yeah. Um, and it feels like they just didn't even test it to see how it would work in practice or yeah. anything. And they just threw it out. And then it's, it's just a very disappointing half-assed skill. That's why I said, I feel like it was half-assed. <laughs> it is half-assed. Uh, but yeah, what about we can the, move on from that. What, what, what about what's going right now? Cause, uh, Trav, I'm not sure you you were aware of the new stuff on Global Labs. I don't think you were, right? I think it's me and you both in the unknown right now, I think. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at it. You haven't looked at it. So, Damien, let's let's hear it, man. What, what's the what's the thing? What's happening? Because just, just uh, to read it, just to read it so people, you know, global lab patch notes are not reality. You got to test it to see what it actually is. But just to read what's happening with the class changes, and I'm going to quote uh, the devs on this. Through the last update, some of the characters' movement skills were changed to be affected by the movement speed increase slash decrease effect, but some skills were adjusted because their movement speeds were sometimes awkward with the speed increase slash decrease effects applied. And I continue, among the skills applied to be affected by movement speed, the movement speed of the following skills has been modified to appear more natural when the movement speed is fast whatever that means probably with a lot of movement. I, I don't even know what they mean by this but overall ranger lawn dark knight witch wizard striker mystic and in particular what we're interested in flash step succession flash step silent step for mystic including succession silent step and double flash what is double flash yeah double flash is it's awakenings a ah. extra two, two jumps okay. or two dashes all right and uh, what's the issue with these? What did they do, David? Well, well, so, yeah, to give a bit of context as what they, it says in the, the dev note, when they did this change in the current patch that we have now, uh, and in, in the live. previous Global Labs patch, yeah, the current live yeah, patch right. um, that we have, a striker is just, like, super fast because it has a 30% uh, speed uh, increase from its dash, and then it's got the extra 30% from using like certain skills kind of like what mystic has well exactly like what mystic has except mystic only gets 20 percent from her dash because that got nerfed like maybe a few months after it was released and then they never reverted that nerf and it's just always mystic's always been slower than striker mm -hmm. um so it seems like like striker was moving like around like a nova if it stacked all these buffs together and it's just dash 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 and it looked ridiculous mm -hmm. Um, and it could do that on its own. It didn't need anything special. And then if you put like 10% movement speed add-ons on yourself, you could be getting it even faster. So it seemed like they're like, okay, we need to tone this down and bring it back to in line with what it was. So instead of nerfing a uh, striker's movement speed, they've ner nerfed the skill itself to make it slower so that it will be at like a similar speed as it was before they did these changes when you have those buffs up so now you are reliant on having those buffs up just to move at the same speed that you would move at before when you had them up okay previously before the current live patch like before they even did these things just it's like you like i was testing it on global labs uh, yesterday and i was just moving the same sp speed as i would expect to move and then if i didn't have any of the buffs up i was just crawling no, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating a bit, but it, we're talking your nose about Mystic slower. right like, There's now. no way to run away from anyone. Sorry, yeah. We're talking about Mystic right now, or Striker is this? Mystic. Uh, Mystic I feel like okay. what they've done is they they tuned it around Striker, but because Mystic doesn't have the same yeah. buffs, Mystic is just slower, and they've made her more reliant on having her buffs up to move at the speed that she previously did. 
So basically, and it just feels awful. Just to summarize and simplify for the people listening, what they did was they forgot of a past change, and now they doubled down on a nerf which impacted us harder than what impacted Striker. Is this fair? Yeah. Is an assessment? Yeah, it's like Striker went out of control because <laughs> it scales better because it's got better buffs, and then they had to nerf Striker back down, and then in the process they pulled Mystic to be below where she even was in the first place. That's good. And then ship it also makes you more susceptible to slows. Like, it, yeah, like based on it, the history with everything else, they're just going to send it out and it's probably not going to get touched for like a couple of months or something like that. They're and I'm really not that. looking forward to playing the game while it's like that. It's so funny. You just can't move around a fight. It's so funny that you say this because Hidden Claw of Succession Mystic literally fell prey to the same thing of a false tooltip from the past which wasn't adjusted wasn't changed and they call it abnormal shard generation when the tooltip and the spirit uh the martial spirit which it is both they kind of overlapped and created so that if you combo in succession let's say you use rage hammer in succession and you go with hidden claw the entirety of hidden claw is going to generate uh three ticks of your shards and now that no longer happens which is it, for a dps class removing the chain ability which which kind of you know we're a class that exists in the continuum side of things you give a small interruption now you have to shrink the entire thing rework it in order for it to start functioning uh good and this small little change had such a negative impact just because of this and now we're getting the same thing because of them forgetting past changes which they've done some inadequacies with tooltips this and that granted it could have been something that they intended on doing but they didn't ship out but it's like it's essential for us to function this way. Why would you double down on it? And now that you say this, man, that's crazy. Trav, what, any, any takes on that? Have you ever noticed this? So far, at least? I mean, I've only been playing with the updated dash speed for a couple of days now, maybe one day since the patch. I thought it was a good change because Mystic is already feels pretty slow compared to everybody yeah. else. Like... We can't chase casters. If we do chase casters, like a good casters, they're literally just uh, perma positioning away. There's nothing we can do to catch up. We're wasting our fucking time. Yeah, and but... now is what Jamo's saying is we're going to get even slower and we're going to be reliant on getting buffs up that um, are usually like rapid stream is like the one I go for and that's unprotected. That'll give you five yeah. seconds of movement speed. So if, if they're really going through these changes just another indirect nerf to mystic but uh pa you know doesn't really care about what doesn't make the money so they're probably focusing oh. on making a new class to, to sell to everybody but to be fair to be fair with you guys if this ships i'm getting vocal about it and i think you guys should do it as well it just it seems to me like um having these inadequate changes these inadequate i don't know bro it, it feels to me like they purged half the devs and they got new hires and now they're thinking about stuff it literally feels like this because there seems to be at least for me personally you know how you have to have this particular quote unquote let's just call it codex where changes are documented and you should be able to look into what has been done what was intended what wasn't intended very detailed developer logs which you have internally where are they here? Where are they here? Like every single class representative content creator, like as, as much as we are the three, let's just say awakening mystics for the sakes of just saying that, you know, with some prominence, you have every single class complaining about the stuff with the exception probably of Sugzerkers and hell, maybe even Draconians. But this is, this is just, this is just dumb. And I mean, look at Suck Mystic's wave orb that has SA. There's no patch note on it. Lingering essay. You they better not talk about it. Dated it. <laughs> and <laughs> it's still in the game now, two years, three years later after reboots. That they, they, they haven't addressed it. They're not changing it. If they removed it, they wouldn't be removing anything they said in the patch note. It's just something that was accidentally added into the game that's been in the game since reboots. Or reboots or yeah. Right. Well, Mystic's Wave Warp. It can take a hit because if you press down and uh, downwards and F on Soul Basher at the end, you sacrifice the damage to apply a 15% slow, which is, it can function, right? But it's so niche and people, 
like mystics don't know that that thing exists that's one of the most silly things people have told me when i when i was streaming with suck mystic stuff and i'm like you know i have like i don't know near 100 people watching the stream and then i just open i'm like guess what guys you've never seen this ability and i mouse over soul basher and i show them that there is a succession counterpart to that debuff people just don't know about that <laughs> existing at all and you can hold down at the end of soul basher and still get a slow out with people and i tell people to lock that up because some people you know if you if you press f and down um you are going to try and link into sweeping kick and that sacrifices soul basher damage if you do this so i always say like guys just go ahead and lock that up if you can because it's not a good idea mm. and to be fair with you uh, just to open up a little bit on tangent on my own with uh with mystic it is it is so stupid to see Succession struggle as much as she is struggling right now and see no attention to her. Now, I know that, uh, Trav, you, you met a, a, a little bit with Suck Mystica every once in a while. Have you played her recently? Yeah, I would say she's in a pretty good spot comparatively because the Toasted Collision bug doesn't impact PvE. But what it makes her in PvP is she al almost always has three shards. And I'm not sure if you're tracking this bug, but essentially you chain any skill into Twisted Collision, you generate two shards. Twisted Collision doesn't have a long cooldown, nor does it need to be off cooldown for you to generate shards. So you basically have three shards all the time. And I think that's why Suck Mystics are doing so much better. I mean, Suck Mystics have more damage in AOS. Mm -hmm just because of the scaling, but yeah. I think this season they're especially doing better than Awakening Mystic because before you use Rage Hammer, you use Sea Burial, you lose three shards, and shard management is a little bit more difficult, a little bit harder for Suck Mystics to do. Only a, a select few could mar sh manage shards well at the high level, but now this bug that they added in a few weeks ago, now it's like every, every Suck Mystic has three shards at all times, meaning they have... Six, da six dashes. They have their attack cast. First time I hear about up. this, by every way. skill. I, yeah, I, you, I you can do it on your suck mystic right now. Um, just you can attack air. You yeah. just go from mass destruction into twisted collision. You're gonna generate two shards, and you can do that repeatedly, no cooldown. So it's basically the same thing that awaken mystic has on a forty second cooldown tranquility, but protected, and spammable. So Suck Mystics are actually pretty up big, and I was playing RBF <laughs> last night and using it, and I was like, wow, this is like, I can I can go so fast, because I'm never, I never have my attack casting speed buffed down. I always have six dashes if I want to. Uh, I just did it in-game, Trav, it works, bro. <laughs> yeah, so it's just like another unintended bug, but this bug is a buff, whereas the unintended stuff for awaken this <laughs> feels like a nerf and i think oh suck mystic's God. also getting nerfed in the next oh you think so you think yeah, they're, gonna go? they're taking away movement she's speed. getting slower yeah yeah she's getting slower. everyone's getting slower oh yep. my god i hope i hope they i hope probably it's gonna be pvp durability something like that but i really hope they touch her in the pv uh by the way just to just to add a very important note i was kind of going on to the pv side of things and we kind of mixed that with pvp just so you know um overall i stopped playing suck mystic pvp for whatever reason i don't know just awakening is more fun for me probably is the same for you i don't know I'm, there's something mm -hmm. about her man there's something about awakening mystic there, she has a presence which suck doesn't suck feels like she is you want to play her as an assassin but she's a brawler and to be fair with you kind of probably suck mystic is almost exclusively a, a 1v1 and perhaps aos you don't really get to see that many in rbf at least i don't on you but then again you is dead so <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's just try and wrap this around, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. I'm not sure how long we've been we've been going. This is the second recording for 27 minutes. We probably did a 30 minutes before. Um, thank you so much, guys. So just plug yourself real quick. Trav, where can people find you, bro? I'll make sure all the links are down below as well. You can find me on Twitch at C underscore Travesty and on YouTube at Travesty. All right, good stuff. Damien, where can we find you, bro? Uh, I'm, I'm, I just have Twitch at the moment. Uh, I, I'm just Damo, D-A-Y-M-O underscore on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's any plans it. for YouTube stuff. Uh, I was planning to make a guide at some point, but I was waiting until 
Uh-oh. The class became in a more stable state, and I'm like, okay, cool, I can make a guide, and then it will be up to date, and I don't have to worry about it, and then yeah. <laughs> this stuff starts happening. Take it so from me, bro. It I... might be a little while. T- take it from me, man. I have the biggest Mystic Guides, I'm pretty sure, in the past few years for both specializations. Two, three months tops, and, and it's not updated anymore, and you have to do follow-up. So if you want to go into that, man, feel free to do so, but it, requir- it requires quite a lot of maintenance. So uh, once more, thank you so much, gents, for being a part of this. Uh, it was a hard one to pull off, and we pulled it at just complete accent, so... Uh, yeah, good stuff. I'll make sure to credit you everything down below. And yeah, hopefully better times for Mystic, at least on my end. Yep, say bye and uh, let's wrap this up. See you guys. Take Later. care.